Okay, so I bought the X mark um, X series radius. Um, it has a 651V Kawasaki engine in it. It's a 48 inch ultra cut. Um, decided to that I want to do some striping, so I'm gonna take a swing at doing the striping system just out of a brush. It's regular push brush. This is like not really in was well, used on an industrial basis sometimes, but it's probably like a more of a home uh, type version. Uh, so what I did was I saw um, a couple videos on how to make it uh, using PVC pipe and other stuff. So I think I like the brush technique a little bit better. So also I went and bought to Home Depot and bought some two and a half inch um, L brackets. I'm gonna have to drill these holes out because the the nuts that I got for them is a little bit bigger um, than the actual hole, so it's not gonna go through there. So, also, what I'm gonna end up doing because this machine has pre-drilled holes on the back of the deck on each side, so it's two on this side, two on the far side. You probably can't see those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this L bracket and um, I'm going to line it up. Let me see if I can get that there. I'll turn it this way so I can get the center or the midpoint. Then I'll take a black marker and mark uh, right where this screw will fit flush. So only the bottom screw needs to be... Um, both of them have to be screwed in, but the bottom screw is the one that needs to be lined. You can make this screw a little bit more elongated because it's going to serve more as a guide. So once you tighten it up, as long as this bottom one is perfectly in, in place, it'll fit flush. So first thing I got to do is uh, drill. I've already got one on a clamp, so I'm going to drill this hole right here out a little bit more. So that the screw fits, because the screw, as I said earlier, the screw is too big. So, so we're gonna drill this straight down. would not be having the cord in the way but I'm having to do double duty and hold a camera okay so that first drill bit is not large enough so I have another one I think it's a 5 16th that I got to change to so all right so I'm back with the bigger drill bit we'll see how this one works and probably not a bad idea that I drilled it out um, with the other drill bit first uh, so here we go. All right, so now let's see if our screw fits. And it does. It's in there pretty snug. Now we're going to do the second hole. Um, that's close to this hole here. Um, we just need to drill this out because the placement on the deck um, is probably about a little bit less than a half an inch um, moving to this direction here. So since this screw up here is just gonna mainly be a guide, we just wanna elongate this enough so that we can actually get the screw in the hole. Then we're going to tighten it with lock washers. So this will just be the guide. The bottom one will be um, the main piece of it that's going to hold it flush on the deck at the bottom. So, all right. So now I have gotten the first bracket successfully um, tested as far as getting it on here. So. You see, you got the bottom screw, you got the top screw, as I indicated earlier. You see, you got a little bit of 
play in the upper screw, but it really doesn't matter because it serves more as a guide. The bottom screw is the one that's one of the more important screws, even though both of them are going to be extremely tight and it won't move around. Um, it's the one that's going to hold it in place as far as height uh, is concerned. So now we're going to work on getting the other bracket on the other side. Um, then once we do that, we'll move to the next step. All right, so next we're going to install the brackets to the deck. I got some lock washers and these bolts here. Uh, so I don't know if I'm a big to hold a camera and do this at the same time. I might. Let's see. All right, so. Let's set this one on here first. That's probably going to fall out. Might be able to see it like that. All right. So, bottom one first. Oh, and by the way, you can get all of this stuff at Home Depot or your local hardware store. You know you got to tighten that down. So, so I'm gonna do the other side, and we'll be right back. All right. So now we got both brackets in place. We are going to slide the brush into place. Now we we'll have to let the deck down. Then you can take a um, I have a paint marker, a Sharpie paint marker. And once we let the deck down, we'll have to line this screw hole up with the midpoint of this on each side. We're going to mark it and we're going to drill it down. That's how we're going to attach um, this to the brush. And I'm also going to do a screwing um, thing here so that we can adjust this brush up and down and take it off with ease as well. So the marker thing didn't quite work out for me. So I'm just gonna drill some starter holes using um, this little electric, not electric, but battery operated drill um, just to get the hole started. Then I'll bring it out here so I can finish it and uh, show you what I do. All right. And of course, you want to line this up properly before you drill or mark the first hole. But I can't do it and hold the camera. So, all right, one quick tip. So I had to put just a small screw to hold this in place while I line the other side up. So you may want to do that too as well, um, and that way things will line up properly. So again, you want to put you a um, a screw in there, screw it down. Uh, just enough to hold the brush in place so that when you're on the other side doing your drill um, to line the hole up properly, it won't be out of place and everything will line up the way it's supposed to. All right, so I got my screws lined up, as you can see. Ran them both through the bottom. Um, that's from the that marker ended up busting on me. It was a disaster, but we got the screws in. So I'm going to put a total of three screws in here, uh, three nuts. One will be um, a wing nut will be the one on the very top. We'll get to that later. Um, 
I'm gonna put a washer on the top of this. On the other side. I don't know if this is absolutely necessary, it's probably not, but screw these down. And of course, you know, obviously, to tighten these with wrenches. These don't have to be like super, super tight, but they need to be on there pretty good. So now the next, um, we're going to use two more screws, which will be your leveling screw. Okay. Um, this is just a whole um, the screw in place with the brush. So the way we're going to level it on the deck is okay. these green nuts out of here. I'm going to show you how we're going to fit this. Well, I'm going to have to let the deck up because obviously you see that it's too low. So let's kick this up. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. Now, I have not tightened these. All right. So. I have to tighten those. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put on our first screw. Okay. The second one is going to be the wing nut. to do this and hold the camera probably won't this is where a nice fancy little GoPro will come in handy that's where I'm gonna break my right, let's do it this way all right So let's get this guy on here. What is going on here? Okay. And I chose wing nuts because if you want to take this off real quick and you're out in the field, you don't want to have to go, you know, to your truck if you don't have to, because you should be able to get that off, uh, you know, without it. So we'll have to fix the other side the same way. Matter of fact, let's go over here and see if, make sure that, of, of course, you will have to adjust the height on this. Um, this might be the right height. Let's see. Let's go on the other side and put the other side up. So lucky with this. Okay. That's interesting. Let's go on the bottom first. Oh, and guess what? It lined up perfectly. Tighten everything up and I'll be right back. And that is it. And then you have your striper. And I've got mine adjusted probably pretty low because these brushes are going to give way a little bit. And we want to have make sure it's enough to actually brush the grass in the direction that we're going because these bristles 
right here are kind of soft. Now the, the inner one's a, a lot tougher, but we want to make sure it gets a good brush uh, when we're using it. So that's it. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but if you have any questions, um, leave it in the comment and make sure you check out greenerfieldslawncare.com.